Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a sales update. So in today today's video, we're going to be trying to do 10 sales in under 10 minutes. So um, first off, just to give you a very, very brief bit of context, um, January has been uh, a month of two halves for me really. And it's not often I get to say that, so it's a nice little phrase to say, but it has been a month of two halves. First half of the month, brilliant, you know, great. Everything was ticking along nicely, lovely, rocking and rolling, fine. After about the 17th, it really did drop off and it hasn't really picked up much since. Um, I've been listing, um, I did a good few listing days last week. I've not really been sending anything to Amazon, so you know I kind of understand why Amazon isn't performing. Um, but yeah, with eBay I've been listing, I've been trying to put the work in, but it's just not creeping back up to where I need it to be at this moment, but that's fine. I know it'll always return to where it needs to be in the sort of longer term. So yeah, I mean, a few bad days here and there, you can't really moan at when you've had, you know, such a long time of, of, of consistent sales really. So yeah, so that's where I'm at really, January, a bit of a month of two halves. But anyway, without further ado, without any more rambling, I shall get on with the sales update. So uh, Capo de Monte, um, a man on a bench with birds, um, 50 quid. Now I don't know whether that, I don't think that is the actual title of the figure. I just called it that in my, uh, obviously in my title there. 50 quid plus postage. I paid £10 plus commission at an auction for this and a few other bits of sort of nicer pottery, you know, a bit more valuable pottery or whatever. I didn't actually know this was worth this much though. Um, well, I, I put it on eBay at this much. I don't even know whether one had sold for this price before. Maybe it had, uh, or maybe it had sold for a bit less, but I honestly thought I'd be whacking this on for 20 or 30 quid. Um, but I whacked it on for 50 quid and I got that within two or three weeks. So really, really happy there. And obviously there's still a couple of items to sell from the job lot. And as I say, it only cost me 10 pound plus commission. So there's some decent money in that little job lot. Uh, next, if my computer will load. My computer has been beating, has been really laggy recently, so uh, I'm not surprised that it's sort of lagging out a little bit right now. Um, I apologize if it continues throughout the sales update. I'm gonna have to kind of like, you know, clip, kick, oh my God. Right, there we go. Uh, I'll, if it continues throughout the sales update, I'm gonna have to sort of edit bits out and stuff. Um, but yeah, so this is a Lego Duplo Intelli train cargo set, uh, new and sealed. I had it up for $59.99 for ages. I had a lot of interest, a lot of watches. It just did not go, but then it finally went for $53.99 in my sale that I did the first half of the month. And obviously that is um, attributing to the fact or to the reason why I had such a good first two weeks of January. Um, but yeah, I paid two quid for this in the car boot season last year into $53.99. Yeah, really, really happy with that, even though it did take a while to go. Uh, so well, hopefully this will load a bit quicker. Right, there we go. So after about five minutes of waiting for it to load, it's finally here. Uh, a Darth Vader wearable plastic helmet. Um, I actually, I wanted to include this because it's not a direct fail. You know, I made profit on it, but it's not the best item. And the reason it isn't the best is because... A lot of people say the profit is made on the buy and it's exactly, exactly true. And I bought this, I sniped this off eBay for £23, that's including shipping. And um, I was thinking, yeah, I'll get 60 quid for this or something like that. And I had it up for hire. Oh, something's going on up here. Oh, there we go. Um, I had it up for hire and I came down with my price and I came down with my price. And I ended up getting 47 plus my postage. Now, as I say, it's not a direct fail because I made some money on it. Um, but certainly it's one of those examples that I wanted to show that, you know, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. It's not like all like one pound items into 50 pound items and it's and it's all great. You know, there's some things that you have to take a lower margin on. There's some things that take a, a while to sell. Um, and there's some things you do make a little bit of a mistake on or you think would be better than they are. And that's just how it is. So, yeah, although I made profit on this. It wasn't the best profit for the uh, investment that I actually employed. So, yeah, but I still, I was happy to see it go and get my money out of it and a little bit of profit. Uh, so let's see if this one will load. 
Right, there we go. So, I just waited about another minute there for this to load, but um, vintage African hand carved wooden ethnic tribal hair combs. One of, I don't think this is even going to work actually. I'm not even going to try blowing up the picture. My computer is not having it today. Um, but one of the little sort of, um, I don't know what you call them, one of the little rungs on the comb I think I don't even know what to call them but one of the little wooden rung things on the comb isn't pleasant um but yeah I still managed to get 13.49 plus postage in my little 10% off sale for these two uh they're sort of like tourist pieces um they're nothing like really really amazing um but yeah I was still happy bread and butter item I got these from my big auction haul of um you know African carved figures and busts and all that sort of stuff so yeah, that was that one. Right, there we go. Ah, finally, one that loaded pretty much instantly. Um, James Howard Vintage Mineral Water um, Clear Cod Neck Bottle. Uh, yeah, 10 quid for this. Went pretty quickly. Quite happy with that. I think this was the one that I got in the charity shop for 175 I believe. Might be a different one, but I think it's that same one that I got for like 175 in the charity shop. So yeah, quite happy with that. Uh, next one, Britain. Oh, there we go. It's loading a bit better now. Britain's Magirus uh, Dues Blue, uh, 11 inch lorry uh, diecast model, uh, 2137 plus postage. Quite happy with that one. I got that in one of the diecast job lots. I get so many diecast job lots now. I wouldn't even know which one it came from, but I think if I'm right, it was the my most recent one actually that this came out of. Um, so yeah, it is quite a big. Um, lorry, but obviously you can't really see it in that photo doesn't really seem to be anything actually to scale that photo So you wouldn't know it would be you know a larger die cast um, Without something in the photo to actually scale it, um, but yeah, that's that one Looks like this one might take a while to load again Well those two tabs here are just not having it. They're not loading at all So I don't think I'll be able to show you them unless I click back onto them in a little bit and see, you know, if they're working. Um, but we'll go on to this one for now, and then maybe I'll do a bit of waiting and see if I can show you the other two if they actually eventually load. Um, this is Kirby's Epic Yarn, a uh, Nintendo Wii game. Uh, yeah, I got this for 99p or 199 I think it might have been 199 at my local charity shop. Decided just to whack it on auction. Uh, 99p start or 199 start. I think it was 99p start, actually. Um, so I was risking it, considering that I started the auction at lower than I the money I had into it. Um, but yeah, so it went up to nine quid plus my one pound thirty postage. Quite happy with that. You know, one ninety nine into a tenner, I'll take that. You know, a nice little turnaround. And obviously, it was a large letter, so it wasn't too much postage. And then finally, uh, the live laughter tour, Ken Dodd. New and sealed DVD, 10 quid again, and I paid 99p for that at the charity shop. Went within a few days, so I was really, really happy with that. Certain sealed DVDs are worth it, you know. I mean, generally, I don't go on these, like, um, comedy DVDs, but this one, for some reason, I searched it, and it was coming up, um, you know, as okay money. But usually, these comedy ones um, don't, even new and sealed, they don't really go for much, so... Yeah, I was surprised that that one had value and I was happy that I actually um, looked it up, you know, because I thought to myself, should I look it up or shouldn't I? Um, and I thought, you know what, I'll quickly look it up and I'm glad I did. So let's just check on these tabs here. Oh, wait, one of them's, one of them's loaded. There we go, right. Vintage Play Me Globe Diecast uh, Pencil Sharpener. Really, really good, these, um, play, you know, Vintage Play Me uh, Pencil Sharpeners. Uh, this one in particular, I probably actually undersold very slightly. It went within a matter of hours for uh, 10 quid. I mean, maybe I just priced it right and the right buyer came along or whatever. Um, but yeah, maybe I could have got a little bit more. Maybe I could have got 13 quid, 12, 13 quid, something like that. But yeah, with a nice little item. It came out of my most recent auction haul um, that I had that obviously I hired the man in the van to bring back to my lockup. So that was the first sale of my most recent auction haul and I'm really glad with that um, because obviously it just means uh, it goes towards paying for the lot really. So uh, considering that this is only a very, very small thing and I got 10 quid for this in that massive, massive haul, 
that I paid about 334, 335 for, I'm really happy. Now, yes, okay, I have to account for the 50 pound for the man uh, in the van, you know, that cost. I have to account for storage lockup cost and stuff like that, but still, there's plenty of plenty of profit in that hole and I've listed a lot of value out of it already and I've got so much more down at the lockup to list so yeah really really happy with how that went uh, that first sort of um, process of buying that hole getting it delivered to my lockup and uh, just the volume and the quantity I'm really really happy with and I'm really happy with the items in it so yeah I can't complain there we'll just check just to see if this is loaded no, it's not loaded. So that's not going to load, unfortunately. I don't even know what it was. Uh, I can't see what it was on the tab. Um, hopefully it wasn't anything, you know. Too oh, there we go. There we go. It's loaded, finally. Um, vintage Retro Tommy Kong Man uh, 1980s uh, electronic game. twenty four ninety nine plus postage. This worked. I did like a little bundle deal with one of my charity shop uh, managers or one of the, you know, one of the charity shop managers I know. And... I got a few different things off him and uh, this must have worked out at maybe about five or something like that in the, in the bundle. I got some other stuff as well, some troll dot, you know, some vintage trolls. Uh, there was some sort of, what was it now? Um, I can't remember, it was some sort of, it was like Cindy, it was some sort of Cindy stuff, but it wasn't actually Cindy, but it was, it was something along those lines, some girls, little bedroom toy plastic toy thing um but yeah so that's it that's the sales update guys i'm very sorry for the lagging and the you know the um things not loading but what i'm gonna do is edit out as much as i can so it gives you a little more, bit more of a smoother video experience if you did like it please do give it a like down below and uh, yeah, don't forget to throw a comment down below uh, with, with what your favorite sale was or what you liked about these sales updates. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys.